Hey, welcome to Android Dialogues, where we have bite-sized conversations with people in the Android community. I'm Huynh Duet Dao, and I'm speaking with... I'm Andre Redking. Hi, Andre. Thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah, thanks for having me. We're currently in Mountain View, California for Google I.O. Uh, Andre, where are you based, and how did you get started in Android? Uh, I'm based in Prague, uh, Czech Republic, and I started with Android, um, I think it was 2012. Uh, I used to work for a company called NCR back then, and I used to be a .NET developer. And then uh, uh, an Android project came up, and I started uh, then. And I also had a, a pet project. Uh, it was um, a navigation for bike, for bikes uh, with uh, that works with Pebble. Oh, that's so cool! Yeah, nice to so so, be like be on your bike and like. So uh, and, like, yeah, you have a you have Pebble on your bike, and you can look at it, and it gives you turn by turn directions. And uh, there's a companion app uh, on oh, Android. Oh, nice, that. nice. But currently you work for? for uh, I work for Automatic. It's a company behind WordPress. Awesome. And you're actually an Android developer there. I want to talk to you about Aztec, um, which is a library that you and your team at, yeah. at, uh, at Automatic are working on. Can you tell everyone what uh, Aztec is? Yeah. So uh, Aztec is uh, a visual and HTML-based uh, rich text editor. The original purpose was to uh, create a, a, a good editor for WordPress uh, and uh, kind of turned out to be a, a pretty big project and we, we thought that it could be useful so we kind of separated it and made it a, a separate library and it's uh, the development is currently uh, finishing up for the first version awesome. and uh, uh, it's being integrated into WordPress and it's currently in beta. So if anyone out there happens to be a WordPress user and you're using an Android app, hopefully in your future you will have a nice, shiny, uh, rich text editor to work with. So, so is it a, U it's a UI component? Uh, yeah, it's a UI component. Uh, it has two parts. There's the visual part where uh, basically edit the, the text uh, visually uh, in like in uh, Word. Mm -hmm. And then there is the HTML and uh, uh, basically anything that's in the visual part is synchronized with the HTML. That's that's really amazing and doesn't sound quite easy. So, uh, can you explain like why why Kotlin? Why why did you decide to write this library in Kotlin? Well, since uh, it was a new project and uh, Kotlin was a, a popular new technology, uh, or it's been around for a while, but uh, it was new to us mm -hmm. and it, it was uh, my first Kotlin project. Mm -hmm. So we decided to, that we. Yeah, we wanted to try it out and see how it goes. That's really cool. And uh, we really liked it. And uh, I think, uh, uh, yeah, any, anyone who's uh, trying a new project should, should try it out. No, I definitely feel like it's definitely a good strategy for getting into Kotlin. Um, this is just, if you have a new feature or, or new something that you're willing to try, just go for it with Kotlin. Yeah. You can just have a nice greenfield project to work on. That's amazing. How do you, how do you feel about it? Do you think Kotlin's kind of like helped you in particular in any way at all? Or have, have you just been having fun using Kotlin? Or? Mm, I think it's uh, a lot more concise than Java. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it says a lot of, it's, it's more readable. Uh, I think those are the biggest uh, advantages. The, the null safety, of course. The, oh, absolutely. Uh, another one. Uh, uh, yeah, it's just, uh, it, it was in the beginning, it took me a while to get used to it. Mm -hmm. uh, I use the, the conversion tool a lot. Yeah. So I would just, Write something in Java and convert it. Yeah. Uh, but eventually, uh, I was actually surprised how how quickly it uh, how quickly I learned. So, so you don't feel like it that um, I mean, I mean um, I'm not sure how many on your team were new to Kotlin, but you don't feel like it slowed down your development too much. Like you didn't get dragged down or anything mm. because it was totally new. Or well, it was uh, the the pro project was starting, so it was kind of slow in the beginning. And, yeah. Um, I, I don't think it was uh, a problem. So it kind of folded into the rest of the ramp up yeah, of the project yeah. anyway. That's awesome. Um, so it's an open source project. Are you, so if you, are you going to be accepting like pull requests from other folks? Oh, yeah, yeah. We are uh, inviting anyone who's uh, interested uh, to, to uh, contribute. And that's actually why we uh, kind of uh, created a separate library so that uh, it could be used outside of WordPress. That's and uh, send anyone can contribute and uh, are welcome to do it. Rich text editor sounds very difficult. What were your biggest challenges when kind of implementing this component? Um, I would say there are, two, there are two main challenges. One was the synchronization between the visual part and the HTML. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, for, uh, you know, it has to be consistent. So every time you switch back and forth, uh, you want the same code. 
right. and uh, that that was pretty tough. And also uh, new lines. Uh, you know, <laughs> uh, you think that it's just a stupid small character, but uh, uh, for example, for, for block elements, you, know, you need visual new lines you know, right. that are not actually part of the code, but in the visual editor, you need it because uh, you need to separate it from the rest of the text. And uh, uh, you kind of have to figure out how to uh, transfer it to the, the HTML and uh, not mix it up with the actual you know, break, break lines. And uh, that was really, really difficult. Wow. wow. And also, uh, like uh, in lists, for example, new lines are uh, used to create new items, mm -hmm. and uh, double new line is for closing a list. So it's, uh, it was a yeah, huge mess. It, yeah, that's weird because you have to convert from, yeah, like the different, uh, I guess, syntaxes for doing different things between yeah. the rich and the HTML. Wow. Uh, that sounds really difficult, but um, it sounds like you kind of made some good progress on it. Yeah, I, I think it's uh, getting uh, into a state where it's pretty usable. So. Oh, awesome. Well, um, if anyone out there is looking into or needs a rich text editor that also does HTML editing, you should definitely check out Aztec. Um, and it's up on GitHub right now, I believe. It's up on GitHub. It's released as a GPL. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, cool. Code. All right. So, well, so. y'all should definitely check it out and definitely um, uh, get in contact with Andre if that's something you're interested in. Andre, thank you so much. Yeah, thanks for having me. Uh, if people wanted to find you on the internet, how can they do that? Uh, they could find me on Twitter or uh, GitHub by the same handle. It's uh, Anko. It uh, started with zero, zero NKO. Cool. We'll put it in like the banner, like right here. So, um, but thank you so much, Andre. Yeah, thank you. And thank you all. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.